He stopped three feet away, took the gun out of the brown leather case. I thought, I wonder how many bullets that gun does hold anyway. I should have said something. This was an accident. My friend thought he had an empty gun, very playfully, casually, flipped that thing back in, spun it around, took the safety off, pulled it up to his hip, pointed it at my chest. Bang! I'd been shot. My friend's freaking out. My legs don't work. I can't breathe. I'm going to die. Picture this. My friend's dad's cruising around the neighborhood in his police car. He came across his radio. There had been a shooting at his address. They rushed me to the hospital. They couldn't figure out how the bullet missed my heart. The technologist came in and he was talking to the, the dude and he said, when Mike got shot, I think his heart was on an inbeat. When we took these x-rays, his heart was on an outbeat. A half an inch can really make a whole lot of difference. My mom and dad would sleep at the hospital. My friends would pack the elevators. Even my buddy Tori that shot me showed up. Just he and I. He sat next to me. We looked at each other. We both started crying. He gave me a book. I opened it up on the inside left cover. He'd written, Mike, I'll never forgive myself, but I hope someday you will. This didn't just happen to me. My mom. My mom's my hero. I'd wake up every day. My wheelchair was waiting by my bed. This wasn't a dream. I'd climb in my chair. I'd, uh, I'd roll in the kitchen. My mom and I would talk. She'd cry. She was flipping pancakes. One day she said, Mike, just because you can't stand up doesn't mean you can't stand out. It became my life motto. It meant everything to me. I hope you have a life motto. The average person in this room today has 11 negative thoughts to every one positive thought. I was probably twice that at that point. I had to change. I had to do things different in life. If you resist change, you fail. If you accept change, you survive. If you actually create change, you succeed. I had to change. It was hard. My first marathon, July 24th, 1981. Halfway between Salt Lake City and Park City. First 13 miles are uphill. Three miles into the race, struggling, getting blisters, fuds in my head. What's fud? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. But I focused on my goal. Ten more miles, I can get there. I kept pushing, one push at a time. And then they let all the ABs go. That's you, the able body people. All the ABs are past me on the uphill. This runner in a yellow shirt ran by, smacked me on the shoulder. Good job, Mike. Don't quit. You're an inspiration. I kept pushing. I thought, thanks. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait till the downhill. <laughs> then there was the downhill. Picture this, 500 runners looking over their shoulder, seeing eight guys in wheelchairs <laughs> coming at them at 45 miles an hour. <laughs> I haven't passed yellow shirt. What do you think I thought as I sped by? Good job, don't quit. You're an inspiration, yeah. I see at the finish line. So we get to the finish line, Liberty Park, everyone's clapping, that felt good. I just thought, I thought, wait a minute. Everyone was clapping three hours ago when I took off. Now they're clapping at the end. What about the 26 miles in between? Just me, my wheelchair, the hot road, the hot sun. You know what I learned that day? All motivation is self-motivation. As a junior in high school, I was arm wrestling my weightlifting coach. He was strong, I was stubborn, we're doing our thing. He busted my right arm. Now I had four limbs, and only this one worked. <laughs> yeah, I went in circles for like five months. <laughs> but something more important happened in the hospital. They flipped me over, sliced open my back, took that little 38 caliber piece of lead out of my T10 vertebrae. They handed it to me. I, held, I looked at it, I started shaking because this little piece of lead symbolized so much loss and heartache in my young life. I told you about a goal I set when I was just a kid to represent you in the Olympic Games. I got my chance. Fly over the ocean, represent you, represent our flag, beat Holland by 10 points to win a gold medal. They raised the flag, played the national anthem, put these gold medals around our necks. Thank you. Thank you. My mom liked it so much, she was going to bronze it. 
It's been touched by thousands of people. I hope it's touched a few others. Come with me to 1992. Where were the Summer Olympic Games in 1992? Barcelona, Spain. Again, we beat Holland by uh, 10 points. They raised the flag, played the national anthem, put the gold medals around our necks. Where's that gold medal here today? I don't have it. I lost it. I lost my gold medal. How? One of my teammates tested positive for drugs. I had to give it back. Don't feel bad for me, just know this. Every single thing you do here on this team affects every single other person on the team. One other item I want to put around my neck, I want to let it take an equal place in my life with these medals. It's about the size of the tip of your little finger. What do you think it is? My bullet. And I can uh, hold it up here this morning and share it with you. I accept it. It's part of me. It's closed a few doors, opened some others. I can now hold it in the palm of my hand. I don't shake. I challenge everybody here in this hotel today to find your bullet. It doesn't mean you're weak. It means you're strong. What stops you? What paralyzes you? It may not be in your spine like mine. It might be in your head. It might be your heart. Find your bullet. Be willing to deal with it. Put it around your neck. Let it take an equal place in your life with your many successes. The greatest lesson I learned in life, I learned from my amazing mom in the kitchen flipping pancakes when she taught me that just because I can't stand up doesn't mean you can't stand out. My friends here today, I promised when I was laying on that white bedspread with a bullet, bullet hole in my chest, if I could live, I would help people. So I'm just here today, a simple little reminder in life, whether or not you can or you can't stand up, we all matter. We all make a difference, and we all have the ability in our lives to stand out. Thank you very much for letting me share my story with you. Well done, my friend. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very inspiring. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.